to the 7 News Alert, a popular race at a popular place ends in tragedy. A motorcyclist dies in the Pikes Peak International Hill climb. And the strange thing is it happened after he crossed the finish line. 7 News reporter Molly Hendrickson live tonight. Molly, this man was no stranger to this race. Not at all, and in fact, we found YouTube video of him racing just two days ago. And for a course known for its intense climb, sharp curves, and uphill battle, the finish line is the last place you'd think there'd be problems. Bobby Gooden was no stranger to the Broadmoor Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. This is GoPro video of his race in 2013 that landed him a third place finish. And just two days ago, he returned to Pikes Peak to qualify sixth in the middleweight motorcycle division. But today, it seemed fate had different plans. According to the El Paso County Sheriff's Office, number 86 crossed the finish line, tried to slow down in the gravel parking lot, and lost control. Witnesses say his bike veered right, launching Gooden over the edge. Paramedics performed CPR on the 54-year-old as he was airlifted from the summit. And there have been a few fatalities in the 92-year history, the most recent in 2005 when a driver hit a race official as he crossed the finish line. Molly Hendrickson, 7 News.